Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Tuesday, May 30th. Uh, I've had rain off and on all day. So my daughter calls me and says, Listen, Dad, the library is giving away books. I said, Okay. She says, So I picked some out. She goes, Actually, she goes, I picked a lot of books out. And uh, I said, All right. So I um, went down to the library at school. And what they're doing is they got a new li new librar new librarian that uh, she's starting in the new school year, and so she had come in and said, "Listen, nobody's taking out these different types of books, so we're going to get rid of them." And so basically, they were giving books away for free, and you could take whatever you wanted. So I actually looked through myself a little bit to see what they had, and I picked a few out myself and. Uh, but Heather had picked a bunch of these out already. So, of course, she's thinking along the same lines as me. So some of these are, uh, you know, do-it-yourself type of stuff. Um, she's got a lot of stuff on Japanese culture. I picked up some stuff on ancient Rome. Um, a lot of uh, poetry and then just other books to read. So I'm going to kind of go through a little bit of this for you. And I'm going to show you uh, what all we have here. So... Uh, I think these are poems, the three sisters. Yeah, I think these are all different poems there. Uh, here's one on gems and minerals of the world. Just a little book to read there. So, it's got a lot of stuff on just regular books that she thought was interesting. Book of the Lion. American Goddess of the Rage of, of Making. Oh, let's see. Fool's War. This is Alexander Pope, Essay of Man and Other Poems. So, let's see. Let me come around this other side here. I mean, look, it's freaking a ton of books. There's all kinds of uh, different stuff. Uh, let's see. In the Kindling Flame. I think that's a World War II book. Poems for the Real World. There's more poetry. But uh, let me go down lower and show you some of these. There's a book over here on Japan. Occult America. Book of Love Poems. Got a lot of books on poems, it looks like, which is okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. Just or sails and steam, so different ships beneath the sea. Got something on history of ballet, ancient Greece, the Vikings. A lot of different information. Um, I've said it before information is knowledge. The Militia Movement and Hate Groups in America. Sea Chase. Let's see. The Plant World. This was one of the ones I picked out. Uh, another thing on plants. Alright. The British Empire. I thought that was interesting, so I picked that one out as well. Uh, what do we got here? Winds in the Stone. It's some kind of just a regular reading. Ancient Rome. Uh, Imperial Rome. Egypt, Civilization of the Pharaohs. There's a lot of stuff that I thought was really interesting, interesting reading. More Citizens of Rome. All kinds of different stuff. So, anyway, we got a lot of books, okay? And uh, I've said this before, you know, knowledge is power. And uh, when an SHTF situation happens, if it's a worst case type of situation, and let's say that the grid is down, the only... There's a World Almanac. I grabbed that one, too. Um, the only thing that you're going to have is what you have in paperback. Okay, You are not going to be able to get online, go on the internet, look at books, or look at information. Information is either going to be that you have it or you don't. Now, I have a lot of other books, and I've showed some of those before. But uh, this was pretty cool, I thought, because they were giving them away. They, she, I asked her, well, what's going to happen? She goes, well... She's going to come in and see if there's some stuff that they can use for, like, the public library. 
But if there wasn't anything, they're basically whatever else was going to go to recycling. And I thought that that was absolute shame and a waste. So, I mean, most of these books, Heather picked out, I might have picked out like 20 of them. But uh, she had a couple of friends there that helped us bring everything out to the car. And I said, you know what, this is absolutely awesome. It was a great idea. Good thinking on her part. Free information. I mean, how can you go wrong with that, okay? You just, you can't. Um, and like I say, books are definitely, if it's a worst case scenario, now you got a lot of downtime. You know, there's no more computers, there's no more games as far as online games or any of that type of stuff. There's no more TV. You know, what are you going to do with your spare time? And don't get me wrong, you'd be very busy doing a lot of the everyday mundane chores that you would have to do. But there would be downtime. And uh, so books are a great way to have it so you can, it's an escape, realistically. I mean, I've been reading since I was a kid, and you escape into the stories. Or you learn about ancient civilizations and how they did things and what went right and what went wrong. It's a, it's a good way to try to not to repeat history. And uh, so, like I said, it's a, it's a great thing to have. And, uh, you know, and I've said before, you have to have games too. So we have board games and the different things like Jenga and Monopoly and Yahtzee and the different card games, Uno and Skippo and all those type of things as well. So it gives you something else to take your mind off of the situation. Uh, we're going to need to have distractions. You can't be focused on, oh my God, this is the worst thing that ever happened in the world all the time because you would go crazy. So being able to distract yourself is a very cool thing. And uh, so, you know, the, uh, like I said, a lot of times losing yourself in a book and focusing on that is, uh, is a really cool thing. And uh, like I said, there's so many different type of things like uh, Rainforest of the World is one of the books here. You know, Forbidden Forest, um, The Green Man. You know, there's all kinds of different stuff, you know, to uh, emotional disorders. There's a book on that. So a lot of different interesting stuff to look at, to read. A lot of poems. You're going to need poetry. Like I said, it's, a, it's another way of escaping. And uh, so Heather likes all the poems and stuff like that. And like I said, there's a lot of... Uh, there's so many different things in here, it's unbelievable. I'm not going to obviously reach through and go through everything and show you everything. But, uh, so that's, uh, you know, I went down and picked her up and we got all these books. And so she's got, some of them will go on the bookshelf in her room. And so we'll put some there. And then a lot of them will go into the shop for now and just get put away. And, uh, whenever we want to have something to read, they're there, you know. So, uh... You know, it's pretty cool. I was uh, real happy with this. And like I said, it's free. Free, and they're giving it away, you know, because they don't want them anymore. Because people don't go to libraries anymore. For the most part, everything you can get, you can get online. So libraries are going by the way of the past. And it's actually a shame because all that information is right there in hardcover for you. And it's there for the taking if you want it. So uh, this was, uh, you know, a good thing you know, for us to get today, and got a lot of really cool stuff, I think, and uh, so that will make it interesting. Uh, so we'll go outside here for a second. So we had a lot of rain today, and uh, now the sun is out, of course, while I'm saying this, and the sky looks pretty decent up here. I'll show you the sky right now. Uh, partly cloudy at the moment, but for the most part, for most of the day, uh, we've had a lot of rain again, and uh, just the weather has been freaking just crazy weird and there's a chance of more rain tonight and I think into tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. I have to look at the forecast again. But I know there's a lot of rain forecast for this week. So then we got the, the babies all chilling out. There's Buddy. And there's Maxie. And then we got Soxie right there. But um, so yeah, so that's... Uh, like I said, guys, and I've told you this before, I'm sorry if I spun that around quick and it messed your brain up a little bit. Information, knowledge is power. And like I said, we're going to need to have things to do other than just focusing on whatever you need to do on your homestead, taking care of the animals, uh, taking care of your crops, or you know, get, gathering firewood or whatever it is, gathering water, whatever it may be. You have to have other things to distract yourself. So um, if you can add to your libraries... That's a really cool thing. And so, like I said, opportunity came up. They're giving them away. I mean, they had so many more books to give away, too. And uh, 
but uh, I thought it was a really cool thing. And so we got a lot of books today, obviously, as you see. And so that'll go into our library. And uh, like I said, I have a lot of other informational books as well. And uh, so this is just something different to add on. Because, I mean, there's only so much you can read about medicinal plants and, and herbs and, and uh, edible plants and <laughs> that type of stuff. They have to have something else to read. So anyway, listen, uh, I hope everybody had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Back to the grindstone for everybody today. And uh, so today is, like I said, it's Tuesday. Uh, almost out of May and almost into June already. I can't believe it. So that's what's going on right now. Um, I'm going to sign off for here for now and get some other things I want to take care of. So remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen, guys. So it's good to make sure you tell the people how you care, that you care about how you feel about them. And remember, it's STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and it's one day at a time. Whatever your goals are, whatever they are, whatever they may be, you can reach them as long as you work at, work at it methodically. Don't let anybody hold you back. The only one that's going to stop you is you. Uh, don't listen to negative people because they just want to be negative. You want They want you to be negative like they're negative. So that is a waste of time and energy. Uh, so that's important, you know. Just keep plugging along and you guys will be fine. So anyway, as you can see, the garden's looking nice. Everything is growing nicely, and uh, we'll just keep an eye on things, and we'll see how it all goes. But uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Prepper Nurse went off for now.